Hi, I'm JD, and in this video, what we're going to be doing is finding the GCF. The GCF is the greatest common factor, and I put three examples on the board. One set is um, 16 and 36, the other one is 15 and 24, and then 6 and 12. See if you can try to do these on your own. Alright, so if you don't see the greatest common factor right away, what you can do is what's called a factor tree. A factor tree just basically splits them up. So I have 16, 2 goes into 16 8 times. 2 is a prime number, so I can't do anything there. And then I have 8, which can be broken up as 2 and 4. And then because uh, those are factors, 2 times 4 is 8, and then factors of 4 is 2 and 2. I can do the same thing with 36. I know 36 is divisible by 9, so I can split it up as 4 and 9. And then with 9, it's 3 times 3, and then 4 is 2 times 2. Now, when you're dealing with a, uh, a GCF, you want to see what they have in common, and what they have in common is a pair of twos, each of them, right? So the GCF of 16 and 36 would be 4. Now if I go to 24 and 15, I know both of them are divisible by 3. So let me split it up right away, 3 and 5 and then 3 and 8. Know something about the 5 and the 8? Right, they're not divisible by anything except for 1. So that means the greatest common factor is 3. So you don't have to go any further. Now with this one, just by looking at it, I know that 6 goes into 12, right? 12 is just 2 times 6. So the GCF of 6 and 12 would be 6. Now, if I have something that there's a number that can't go into either of them, you can always take out a 1. So, for example, if I have 3 and 5, the GCF of 3 and 5 would be 1. All right, this way, GCF of 3 and 5 equals 1. Whenever that happens, they're what's called relatively prime, meaning comparatively, only one goes into both of them evenly. And that's how you find the GCF. And that's it.